This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Lightspeed Rescue, Blue Ranger. Now, some of you may know, I have done a different review for this toy on my channel before. And doing a new one now to replace the old one, delete the old one. As soon as I see this one has been successfully uploaded because the old one had a problem the new figure didn't have. I mean, a, a problem the newest copy of the figure I bought didn't have. Going over articulation right now. And you may have noticed I did have the box for Lightspeed Blue Ranger. Uh, Included in my stack of other figures I got from Ross during the holidays last year. And that's because I thought it'd be cool to make my stack look bigger. By including the box of this figure. In with the other boxes. Of the other Power Ranger toys I had. Bought from Ross last year uh, around Christmas time. And I bought my newest copy of this figure from Ross too. It was $7 at Ross. The problem I had with the old copy of this figure is uh, this figure has this joint. Uh, Recent Power Rangers uh, Lightning Collection figures have this joint where you could put pull the leg down so you get more range of movement uh, going up and out here and copy on the old one had the leg kept sagging which I'll show later in this video. And I bought three copies of that figure, so I thought the problem uh, existed for all copies of Lightspeed Rescue Blue. But I was fortunate to see this figure uh, for sale at Ross. So check it out. This figure didn't have that problem, so I thought it'd be fair to redo my review to say not all copies of the figure have that problem. Here's my newest copy of Lightspeed Rescue Blue next to my old copy, and I'll differentiate it with this head sculpt. So the problem was, let's see, uh, move this leg up, the leg kept sagging. Unfortunately, just kept sagging down. Uh, this, unless I push it all the way up here, it's going to sag. So, out like that. Yeah. Go down. It's on this one. That doesn't have that problem. Get the head sculpt on. Basically, pop this off. Uh, it's a ball joint here. Uh, There's not a swivel underneath the ball joint like in the other Power Rangers I've reviewed recently. Well, you do get some. Yeah. The bottom of the neck joint can tilt all the way around. You just take the head sculpt, just pop it on. Like so, this grinning expression. Nice head sculpt by Hasbro standards. Blue Ranger comes with two accessories, a gun and a baton or a sword. Well, I'm not sure if it's a 
sword or baton. I think there might have been one scene where he slashes a monster with it and sparks were flying. It's very good, though, as you can take up both of his hands and put these uh, trigger hands there. So you can hold either the gun or sword in either his left or right hand. Well, actually, there's um, a trigger here. So that's why they went with trigger hands for um, both sides. Let's see if we can get the index in here. We can get that finger in, push that finger in further. Unfortunately, it's, it's going to leave a stress mark here. Oops. So I'm not supposed to do that. Well, it's very minor, so. Let's get the... Uh, Weapon. It's gun mode. The other hand. Yeah, it looks very cool. Yeah, so now. Although they could be the same weapon, it's very cool to have him uh, dual wielding uh, both of this accessory. Just like the box shows, you can get the lightning. Effect part of the sword. I guess that's why they call these the lightning collection. Well, I'm very pleased with this figure, as I was with my previous copy of him. Unfortunately, the sagging leg ruined it for me. I didn't like how it kept sagging. Anytime I wasn't holding the leg in place, as I was playing and fiddling with this figure. Otherwise, it's great. It looks very much like uh, the blue Lightspeed Rescue Ranger did in his TV show. Uh, closer at the figure. I can see parts like the chest... Might have been reused from other Power Rangers. It's painted blue and white. Uh, 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 part I know for sure is sculpted. F uh, not on other Power Rangers teams is a symbol on this belt. And uh, possibly uh, gold piece around these gauntlets. They got the light speed rescue symbol on them. But nevertheless, does a great job of res I mean does a great job of representing the light speed rescue Blue Ranger from the TV show. Articulation is great. Head sculpt's good by Hasbro standards. Plus I like how I we got the accessories, uh, which I think represent the same weapon. We got two of them, so we could dual wield accessories, even though we may have just had one of them. Lightspeed Rescue TV series. I'm glad the only problem I had that prevented me from enjoying this figure is gone from my newest copy, because uh, I went through three copies of this, uh, bought. Uh, three Lightspeed Rescue Blues off Amazon. They all had this problem with the sagging leg. I'm glad I found a copy at Ross, uh, which, which had tight leg dropping joint. Once again, I joined it. I mean, once again, I enjoy this figure. Now that the problem is gone. I mean, now that the problem is gone. Keep jumbling words for some reason. And all in all, it's a very awesome figure. 
I hope you liked this video, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to me. That's it for my review. Bye.